as we go down the wreck here in uh, Alona. Yes, together with my uh, GoPro, we descend going to 38 meters. Depends on the um, tide, if it's low tide or high tide, as we uh, see the wreck already. It was a straight descent from the top, so we don't have to uh, swim going to the booyah. We just have to be overweighted so we can uh, drop uh, very fast. And this is <coughs> my, excuse me, my body for today. That's Manny. This wreck, I believe, um, is was started 2011. I'm not really sure who sunk this wreck, but uh, it's already filled with uh, <coughs> colors, uh, with with corals, and uh, housing uh, so many different kinds of species. So let's see what we can find inside this uh, wreck that used to be uh, a yacht. Just don't know the reason why it was sunk here. Maybe, maybe because um, it was quite old, or um, the owner might not have any more use for it. So if we if he sinks it, it becomes an artificial reef. Uh, however, it's not easy to find it because uh, it's a sandy bottom area. But there are buoys. Uh, going down so it depends on the tide uh, which tide to, to follow if it's flooding or ebbing okay so uh, we're about to go inside but let's see what we can find from the outside of the wreck so uh, not uh, easy dive for um, new divers because because of the uh, depth but for uh, teaching uh, advanced diving this will be a good one wow well, there's a moorish idol there that I see and anemone with clownfish right the at right at the entrance uh, look at that huh so that means to say this wreck has been quite here for quite a time and already uh, housing uh, a lot of uh, fish here as their home so this is it at 38 meters deep um, if you want to get the um, if you want to get an idea where this wreck is it's if you're facing the beach of Bohol divers it's a little bit to the left and uh, I would suggest if it's your first time to uh, drop into this wreck you might as well follow the buoy that uh, that will actually uh, descend towards the wreck Wow look at it huh it looks awesome from here with so many small fishes already uh, swimming around being their home for the past so many years that's why um, if we have uh, uh, old uh, buses old anything that's old old automobiles you know uh, instead of putting it putting them on the junkyard you can actually donate them and create your own house reef and probably um, put it under your name yes that might be a good idea because if you put it in the junkyard uh, it's not gonna make you enough money but if you make it like a uh, house reef uh, it will attract many many divers and look at this what am I seeing here oh it's a lionfish okay so let's see how it looks like 
on the front. Normally, they face backwards. So they've been living here for quite a time, I'm sure. I'm sure he's got a brother or sister here or <laughs> a cousin. So uh, there should be about more than three of them here. As we check the wreck. And look at this, another uh, lionfish having uh, a video shoot with me. You know, it's so nice. The feeling is so nice when you're down this deep. Uh, you cannot share the um, feeling because because of the nitrogen that's inside my body right now that really makes me feel high. You know, when you go over a hundred feet, you s you feel a certain uh, highness that you're like tipsy, and it's called nitrogen narcosis. However. With this depth, uh, on a first dive, the maximum you can stay would probably be about, uh, I would say on my uh, dive watch, should be about 10 to 12 minutes. Now, you can stay longer, uh, but the thing is, you need enough air to go on a deco. It's going to be a deco dive. That's why... I suggest if you're going very deep, uh, it has to be your first dive. And if you bring somebody here with so many dives already, that guy cannot stay uh, longer. Maybe uh, he will be allowed to do uh, some sort of a bounce dive, like uh, just about, uh, let's say about a minute or two minutes, because his computer has already uh, nitrogen. So uh, it's also good that uh, the computer you're going to rent uh, should be uh, out of nitrogen for the past 24 hours. That is if you want to comp use a computer. But if you want to use just your dive watch, you can just time it. About 10 to 12 minutes should be okay. Now, uh, we're trying to go inside it now. And look at those... Uh, resident fishes there they're guarding the whole place oh look at that that's three lionfish already on top of my head uh my uh, dive master here manny forgot to tell me that there's a resident black uh big frogfish here so maybe next time I should bring a, a torch to make sure I find that uh, black frogfish. And according to Manny, that frogfish actually stays right down, <clears throat> right down below there uh, where the st steering wheel is. <clears throat> yeah, probably yes, <clears throat> because um, they want to live in the dark. So, uh, nobody can touch them, nor visit them. But uh, I need to do one more dive and check him out, uh, how he's doing there. <laughs> okay, so, um, I, I don't know what else they have here, but I know that's what Manny said. There's a resident, a uh, huge uh, frogfish. It's color black. You know, frogfish are a lot here in Bohol. And they're resident of uh, Alona, Alona, Alona Beach. They live in the wall. So if you see them, just uh, you just don't touch them. You can uh, admire, you can appreciate. But... Uh, don't try to move them unlike other divers uh, to gain uh, a lot of money with their diving they try to move uh, these animals uh, into another wreck <laughs> so they can tell the other divers that uh, there's a resident frogfish but actually it was moved by other divers so they can uh, attract divers to uh, visit the wreck 
And this is Manny. Look at him. Uh, such a perfect buoyancy with the frog kick. Yes. So not to silt the sand. You need to do a frog kick. So it's going to be good for um, advanced divers because part of the uh, advanced uh, uh, education is that uh, you need to <coughs> excuse me you need to enter a cave or a wreck to be able to uh, go advanced diving that means to say your buoyancy should be like this guy uh, Manny look at him he, he hardly uh, kicks so that's one thing nice you know if you're entering uh, anything that's uh, confined like you want to go diving in Koron or Subic you need to do uh, some sort of a frog kick just like uh, my dad master so we're about to say goodbye to this uh, deep beautiful wreck in uh, Alona Beach and it, this is just uh, a regular um, uh, how should I say uh, shore diving as uh, we start going our uh, ascent we, we see more lionfish yes that's the beauty of this wreck instead of going up um, you can actually um, go to the wall which is about five meters and uh, do your safety stuff from there however like what i said if you decide to stay longer you would probably need about uh, about 20 30 minutes or even one hour in case you stay too long so in that case uh, if if you really want to stay longer than that, you need uh, to tell your body to carry an extra tank for you <laughs> to make sure you don't get to the uh, decompression chamber. Okay, so uh, I think I went back to the wreck. How come I'm still in the wreck? Yeah, we were supposed to go up. So this must be a different video that was uh, included on the past dives because I know we were about to uh, ascend already oh okay it's a repeat video okay so I made a mistake it's a repeat video